Okay, here's a little battery recharge test. Um, I have a Biscope channel number one. I have that sitting on the battery getting charged. Battery that will be getting charged is 13.22 volts. And the battery that's going to be powering the circuit is 12.65. Uh, so I'm using a lower, the lower voltage battery to power the circuit. And I'm going to charge a higher voltage battery. Okay, so channel number one on the Tektronics is across the battery that's going to be getting charged up. So you can see the spikes going to it. And then I have this fluke right here on, across the load. And uh, uh, this will basically show the spikes coming off of that. You don't really need to see that actually to see that this battery is going to recharge with uh, the spikes. Or actually, this battery will recharge. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get it running. I'm not worried about efficiency or super tuning or anything. I just want to show the point of um, charging. Okay, right now the circuit is not in oscillation. see this uh, climbing and these spikes right here the battery getting charged up is receiving that pulse so it's up to about 19 volts and when we're using a diode to charge a second battery um, it's not getting punched as hard um, but it's getting hit up to about 19 volts. And you can already see that it's trying to climb to 13.25 while I have the lower voltage battery on it. So the power is not just coming from this battery, it is the inductive spikes coming to here and hit, punching that up. So that's what the spike looks like and you can see on the battery that that battery is ringing on each pulse. And all those spikes, uh, most of it is above the battery voltage. Okay, and that's just from the regular pulsing, not an oscillation. Right now it's in 100% uh, oscillation, not in the flip-flop mode or anything, but um, nevertheless this is showing uh, the circuit is in its high-speed oscillation. This is what the charging battery is seeing and that's why it's getting pushed 13.28. The pulse width is the um, same as always and you can see that this is certainly uh, getting charged up by that and that's what the battery is seeing Batteries at 13.30. The spikes, the pulse width, and everything else is no different than if it's going back to the front battery. Amplitude can vary a little bit, but even at a lower amplitude, it's showing it's pushing it quite nice. 13.31. It's just starting to warm up right here. Ambient's 21.9 Celsius. And uh, the load is 35.5. And I don't know where this battery is going to drop and stabilize to, um, but at 12.47, 12.46. This has been running probably over a week. I've been using this as the battery to, charge, to do the timer, so it's definitely not charged up and has been off and on, off and on, off and on without being recharged at all, yet it's able to power this load pretty good. 13.32 volts. That's what the battery is receiving. Getting charged up. 
receiving the inductive spike and then it gets the ringing here's another mode of oscillation without any individual independent regular pulses each pulse is a um, regular pulse with a string of oscillations so it's not broken up and so you could say this is periodic oscillation a very rhythmic a very steady frequency oscillation each oscillation is a very fixed width and you can see the spaces in between that that is in effect what's happening and let's see here is it getting charged well it's 13.37 this is front battery is 12.48 so both batteries are receiving a charge the front one just doesn't get charged as hard when you have um, part of the spike going to the other battery. And that's 13.38. Here's a mode right here of pulsation which is aperiodic. Um, normal pulses with aperiodic oscillations in between. The pulse, the, the width of the oscillations vary and uh, so does the frequency as well as the frequency of regular individual pulses without the oscillation yet another possible mode that can be attained so for example you can see that right there it's very apparent right here anyway battery is seeing those pulses getting charged quite nice now the power battery is um, coming back up to 12.50 okay so it's 12.49 right now and the battery I'm charging is at 13.42 so no matter what it's climbing the battery's recovered pretty good might be stabilizing right where it's about um, right now but there's no difference in the pulse width of what's getting that battery and if it's questionable whether or not any of those type of high frequency spikes at that very narrow pulse width that most people have a tendency to think is unable to charge a battery well it's charging a battery and I guarantee you I can just let this sit for however long hours and let this charge up and I can put this battery on the front and it will power a load So anyway, front battery 12.51 12.52 battery getting charged is up to 